Hello everyone. It is sunrise and it's the beginning of another day to look forward to. Thank God we're alive. Today we are on our next port, Casablanca in Morocco. Many tourists choose to come here as their destination. One of the places that draws people from all over the world to come here is the Hassan II Mosque, which is the seventh largest mosque in the world. Before we get into that, your subscription and support to this channel is requested. Just simply click the red button on the right corner, click the thumbs up, and also let me know what you think of this content. The port of Casablanca is home to the largest artificial harbor in the world. It has the capacity to handle 35,000 container shipments, such as the ones you see here. Most of the foreign trade of Morocco comes through the city. Up ahead is the tower of the Hassan II Mosque, which is the largest mosque in Morocco. The main attraction in Casablanca is the mosque. Muslims and non-Muslims are welcome to visit here. King Hassan II commissioned the building of this mosque. It was designed by the French architect Michel Pinchot, who had lived in Morocco and was constructed by the civil engineering group Bourgeois. Look at the outstanding craftsmanship. What you're looking at on the outside is just as impressive as the inside. It took more than seven years and as many as 10,000 artisans to complete the intricate masterpiece. Its minaret is the world's second tallest minaret at 210 meters which shines east towards Mecca. It is the largest functioning mosque in Africa and is the seventh largest in the world where 25,000 people can fit inside. It is also interesting to note that this was built directly on the Atlantic Ocean on reclaimed land which was done with intention by the architect because of the verse of the Quran, which is the Muslim's Bible. It stated that the throne of Allah was built on water. Another favorite spot here in Casablanca is the romantic and mythical place called Rick's Cafe, inspired by the 1942 film where it starred Ingrid Bergman and Humphrey Bogart called Casablanca. This film was filmed in uh, Hollywood and in the movie studio. It showed scenes of Morocco where people are going to the souks of Marrakesh and Fez or the beautiful beaches of the area. So here our taxi driver is pointing to the building where Rick's Cafe is located. So the American owner made the inside of this cafe to look just like it did in the movie Casablanca. So today tourists come here not because of the food but because of the atmosphere inspired by the bar that made the iconic film famous. There seems to be miles and miles of beaches along the street. There are public and private beaches, water parks, and fitness centers, and all sorts of activities going on here. There are some fantastic spots for avid surfers and water sports enthusiasts. Professional surfers from all over the world come here to compete in the Quicksilver Pro Surf Competition. As a tourist, the local seems to have a way of steering you to go visit an argan oil distributor. This is especially true if you take a taxi twice now, once in Agadir and now in Casablanca, 
Our taxi driver took us to a store selling the product. They are eager to show you the health benefits of the product. They will even demonstrate and use the product by doing a massage, such as this guy. Oh my Does somebody have neck pain, back pain? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Full we have drive. Car, yeah. Do you have neck pain? No. Back? Yeah, a little bit. Massage now. Mm -hmm. Five minutes. Do you, you see the change? Leave your leg. Leave. No. Huh? No. If you want to do massage, five minutes. No, I don't need a massage. You're welcome. Did you feel? Need the me? massage. <laughs> no, she don't. She don't like massage. And then they will steer you to a store that sells carpet. Oh, they all look so beautiful carpet and they are all hand woven. If you are interested in buying one and you don't have room in your luggage, of course they can ship it anywhere in the world for you. Here are some more sights of the city. As you drive down the street, you will see wealthy developments and shanty towns. Casablanca is the most modern city, the largest, and has the biggest port in Morocco. The city also has a serious arts and culture scene and great restaurants. Many of the Art Deco villas from the past have been converted to museums and art galleries. Well, this is the end of our tour for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below and subscribe to this channel. I appreciate that very much. But for now, so long.